We got this truck brand new, and as soon as we got this truck, we slapped 22,000 pound trailer on it and headed for the field. In comparison to uh, the 6.0, this 6.7, it's a, it's a monster. It's a totally different beast. You, you, you're, you've never encountered one like this. The torque on this, uh, this new engine is uh, really impressive. Honestly, I could probably hook up to that building over there and pull that building without flinching. The new six-speed transmission with that manual mode helps us with our inclines and declines on the roads up on the ranches. Based on conditions and the weight I'm pulling, I can adjust the transmission to suit the environment. Considering you're pulling 20,000 pounds of weight behind you, the, you'll forget about a trailer being back there if you don't pay attention. Downhill is really, really nice, you know, with that engine brake that's been put on the truck. The other day I was coming down a grade, had it locked in first gear, and it held me at 15 miles an hour with 22,000 pounds behind me. Uh, it's a big challenge pulling a 20,000 pound trailer everywhere you go. So far, I'm impressed with, uh, with the fuel economy. It has a new braking system where it'll, it'll break the trailer and the truck in different sequences to get the trailer back under control and back underneath you. Yeah, this is the hill country out here. We need something that can handle heavy equipment, whether it's machinery, tractors, or, or just pulling cattle to another pasture down the road. This industry requires tough individuals, and, and the equipment's got to be just as tough. In these conditions, we can't afford to have this pickup die. I rely on my truck, and they're relying on me, so it is a domino effect, and it all starts with my F-250 getting me there. You're not competing with Chevy and Dodge. You're competing with the big boys that, uh, that make tractors that pull 18-wheel trailers.